Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss a very important question in Core Java. So, what is that? What is inheritance? Right? So, what is inheritance is a very important interview question. So, we should answer very clearly. What is inheritance? Here is your answer. So, what is that? If something is already existing, so nothing but one object is already there or one software is already there. Inheritance is the concept of extending the existing thing. Extending means what is updating, is adding some more features, adding some more features is what we call the extending. Okay. See one best example to understand clearly. Suppose, so take one example, so iPhone, so iPhone 6s is there. So, this is one object which is already present and of course, iOS operating system so used for iPhone 6s just consider. So, this is what we called existing system which is already present, which is already in the market. So, now, now the Apple company want to launch iPhone 7s into the market, iPhone 7s. So, what they want to launch into the market is comes under proposed system proposed system. Okay. Existing system and proposed system. Here it is just manufacturing the 7s or as so a developing a 7s operating system from the 6s operating system is nothing but inheritance concept. So, that is why so the name is very clear to implement the inheritance that is what we called extends keyword extends in the sense is updation, it is elaboration. So, that is what we call extends, extends. So, this is a UML notation, so, the arrow mark always pointing to the class from where the child is extending, we know that. So, we can call it as a terminology parent and child of course. So, here it is inheritance means inheritance defining an object defining an object this is we are going to define defining an object with the help of existing object which is already present which is already present sir so what inheritance mainly includes i just want to implement inheritance concept sir so in the program technically so what i can implement see here it is inheritance includes only three things inheritance includes includes three things sir what are the three things see suppose we are using already iphone 6s mobile and we just want to purchase 7s so which is in the market just consider so what are the reasons behind so to purchase a 7s mobile is nothing but inheritance implementation sir what are the things the first one so what all the features available in 6s so, definitely available in 7s mobile, right. So, that is what we call accessing, accessing existing object functionality. So, what is that existing object is a 6s functionality. So, whatever the functionality nothing but what all the features available in 6s mobile, right. So, we can access into 7s mobile also into 7s mobile also. So, that is so inheritance includes the first point accessing existing functionality and is that only one reason sir? No, accessing is not only the matter. The most of the people saying that what is inheritance means what accessing right existing object functionality into child that is not the correct way. So, just imagine or if you think generally if you are accessing only 6s into 7s then why you are we are purchasing 7s unnecessarily we should go with uh, 6s only na it's better way so that's why right some more things are there we are expecting some more things from the 7s so what are the things easily we can answer second one adding new features so definitely we are expecting adding new features 
they are releasing the next version into the market for example, JDK 1.8 we are using currently. So, for example, Oracle company also want to launch a 1.9 into the market this is definitely we will expect in the new software in the new application right. So, that is our expectations new features definitely expect. So, in the same way so from iPhone 7s also we will expect some additional features additional features this is the second one and third one something is already existing, but which is not suitable for 7s in 6s one functionality is there which is not suitable for 7s. So, definitely we should update sir one example for example, camera. The camera here it is suppose consider it is a 12 megapixel it is to 12 megapixel right me he means what they just want to change here it is in a iPhone 7s. So, the camera so name is there identity is there they cannot change the identity, but they can change the functionality. So, means what from 12 megapixel to 20 megapixel so that is what we call updation. And here it is the size memory size is a 2 GB just consider they just want to increase the memory size into 7s that is a 3 GB or 4 GB. So, definitely they should update. So, here it is updating existing object functionality objecting functionality if required ok. So, these are the main features. So, what inheritance includes exactly in your application also we do all these things only. Here it is accessing existing functionality, adding new features and updating existing object functionality if required ok. So, here it is this is what we called simply inheritance. So, inheritance means what is not only accessing parent functionality we are accessing in the child class that is completely a wrong statement. See the word the keyword is very very clear extends extends means what it is not the synonym of access it is the synonym of updation ok it is the synonym of releasing the next version elaboration ok adding new features. So, here it is enhancement right iPhone 6s is enhanced to iPhone 7s they updated the version they updated that mobile ok. So, this is what we called inheritance. Okay. So, definition is a very simple defining an object with the help of existing object a simple thing ok. So, hope you guys understood ok. So, for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you thank you all.